This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Bennett and this is the Ramble and I'm dancing a dancing fool here on your uh, on your uh, screen if you're watching us on uh, <laughs> on uh, 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 what is it uh, Facebook facebook.com yeah facebook.com uh, and uh, we're gonna be here all, all evening uh, doing uh, our various and sundry um, little things not all evening I mean we'll be here until uh, uh, well, midnight tonight. I'm just trying to clean a few things up here. See, I got to do the show and I've got to do stuff to make it work. So there we go. All righty. Okay. Now we're fine. Now we're good. Okay. So hi, how are you? Uh, those are things I should have done before we went on the air, but I, I don't do that now. I'm sloppy. Uh, I'm going to talk to you. Tonight, I find that uh, you people kind of stick with me a little bit while I uh, do these little rants of mine, which uh, go on and on and on. I put something up uh, to tell people to do. A lot of people are getting like these Amazon Echoes. I don't know if you have one or not, but I, I find it an amazing tool in the kitchen, especially. That's where I, at first I put it in my uh, my guest room and I tried it there and I tested it out and didn't find any reason for it. Then I put it in the kitchen, and I found out it works as a cooking timer. I can play music. I subscribe to their uh, all-you-can-eat list of, of music uh, for four bucks a month on uh, Amazon. And um, you can do a whole bunch of other things, and not the least of which is I can play GabNet. You know that 24-hour stream we've got? Well, it's on TuneIn. And you can get tune in if you've got Echo. So all you have to do is all you have to say to Echo is uh, Alexia or Alexa rather Alexa. I have a, I say Echo to it. You can program it whichever way you want. But I, you go Alexa, tune in, Great American Broadcast Network, and it will then play our 24-hour stream. And every time you go to it the, after that. You can just go Alexa, tune in, and they'll say playing previous uh, uh, stream or whatever, and then it will play the Great American Broadcast Network. So if you want to listen to it while you're working in the kitchen or working at home doing something, uh, that's the easy way if you've got Echo in order to get the Great American Broadcast Network, or GapNet, as we like to call it. So go ahead, do it, all right? Uh a few things to talk to you about today. You know, I've been the other night. I I, I went on my little rant about. Uh, I went on my rant about uh, 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 this what I call McCarthy-like situation with people being outed as uh, being molesters and harassers and so on and so forth. And, you know, some of them uh, may be guilty of inappropriate behavior. Some may have done it once and probably were never guilty of it ever again. But nevertheless, um, it, it, you know, it, some of it is overboard. I mean, Dustin Hoffman got accused by some woman who said he came on to her. Okay? They didn't even do anything, but he just came on to her. And that was years and 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 years ago. And so is he to be suddenly ostracized because he had one bad, he acted poorly at some point in his life, you know? Who of us hasn't, okay? I can't remember ever that anybody could ever accuse me of harassing them or certainly not raping them. Uh, uh, or any any pushing of myself upon them. Usually they had to push themselves upon me because I was that reticent to be uh, proactive, let's say. I was the kind of guy who, 
I had low self-esteem, so I, I didn't want to make a move on somebody until I saw that that move would not be rebuffed. But, you know, often the male has, in this society, been put in the position of having to be the aggressor. Uh, and so if you're going to make a move, uh, he's always kind of expected the guy to make the first move. I always argued about that because I said that puts far too much responsibility on me. If a woman would like to come on to me, I will not hold that against her, okay? But guys were always put in the position of having to be the, the uh, initiator of, of, uh, of a romantic interlude or perhaps even more than that, you know, um, all these guys, like uh, somebody mentioned uh, the uh, former head of GE, I'm trying to remember his name now, J Jack Welch, uh, married uh, his, uh, I think like his secretary or his personal assistant or somebody like that. Well, at some point, he had to go in for the first kiss because guys got to be the aggressors, right? And then the first kiss led to a second kiss and perhaps an evening of uh, boudoir uh, activities. And one thing led to another and they got married. Well, could you accuse him of having, you know, if he didn't marry that woman, she maybe could accuse him of having uh, uh, been uh, having harassed her. And I, I just don't know where, the, where, where we stop with all of this. Now, some people are creeps, all right? There's no question in my mind that Harvey Weinstein probably is a creep, although I'd like to see a court case so we can prove it uh, completely. Uh, but uh, he looks like he w he's a creep. And plus, he's just not the kind of guy you want to have try and have sex with you. Uh, another late one that lately got, uh, got hit with this was Brett Ratner, the movie director and producer. And while I don't care if he ever works another day in his life because I think his movies suck, um, he's saying he's taking, he's being proactive about this. He's actually sued one of the women who's accused him. He filed a suit against them uh, for uh, you know uh, uh, what can we call it? I guess harassment on their part. Uh, but that you know that they lied about him and it's it's hurting him professionally. And he's being proactive about it. All right. Uh, then you've got uh, you've got Jeremy Piven. Um, and uh, there were some allegations against him, you know, not one of the icky, kind of yucky allegations, but nevertheless, people saying uh, uh, she, uh, uh, well, this woman, uh, Ariane uh, Bellamar, was made public in the post. Uh, she said uh, that she had an accusation against him. Um, but anyway, here's, here's what happened. Uh, he was supposed to appear. Oh, he did appear. He, yes, he did appear on the, uh, on, on the Stephen Colbert show over there on CBS. Now, let me say something that may be telling stories out of school. But one night a week at the Colbert show, they do two shows in one night. Okay? And I think like the... The second one goes on Friday, but it may also go on on a Monday instead. But in any event, uh, Piven had appeared uh, on uh, The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. And, um, well, it says here, an appearance by actor uh, Jeremy Piven on late night TV was canceled and an investigation into a sexual harassment allegation against the former Entourage star, the Washington Post reports, that the CBS pulled the plug on a pre-taped interview segment that was scheduled to air Friday on CBS's Late Show. This must have been at the last moment because I don't think he was accused till like last Friday. All right? Uh, and uh, so what they did is they pulled the interview, then they went out and interviewed somebody else or something and slipped the interview, that interview in there instead of Jeremy Piven. In a statement Thursday, Late Show spokesman said that Piven's appearance was taped Monday, one day before the accusation by actress and reality star Ariane Bellamar was made public, uh, the Post reports. Since the show was unable to address what it called recent developments, Piven's segment was being replaced with a new guest, according to the Late Show statement. Substitute guest name was not immediately announced. 
probably because before the show, uh, the, when does this show air? Did they say it's this Friday? Yeah, it was scheduled to air Friday, this Friday. Okay, so they did it on Monday, and it aired, it was meant to air Friday, I guess is what happened. All right. Okay. Uh, so it was pre-done. This, I know this is all very confusing, but it's just that they don't, they do, the, they, they do I think they do uh, two shows on Monday, and then one of the shows that they do on Monday happens, uh, is shown on Friday. So the one that's supposed to be on tomorrow night was the one that was supposed to have Piven in it. So they did another interview with somebody and threw them in there. CBS says it's investigating the allegation. Uh, the Post adds on Tuesday, Belmar said that Piven, the Emmy-winning star of HBO's Entourage and now in the freshman CBS drama Wisdom of the Crowd, groped her on two occasions. Groped her. What is fucking groping? You know, what is a grope? I would like to, I would like a definition of he groped me. Um, you know, it, 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 it's so insignificant that while I would never consider groping a woman, uh, the fact that he groped her on two occasions, I don't know, I just, I just, I, I'm not, I can't wrap my brain around it, okay? I can't come to hate Jeremy Piven because he groped this woman twice. Did he ever grope another woman? Well, nobody's come forward, okay? It's not a, a, a pattern of behavior. So maybe there was something else to this story about why he groped her. Maybe she looked gropable. Maybe she kind of was coming on to me. You don't know. But all he, she had to do was accuse him of groping her on two occasions, not sex, not kissing, not sticking his finger up her ass or anything like that. All he had to do was grope her. All she had to say is he groped her, and CBS is now holding a full investigation into the situation. You know, the only thing CBS should c care about is did it happen on their watch? Was it some show they were involved in? And supposedly, I think this maybe happened during Entourage, while he was on Entourage, okay? Uh, which means that was HBO and that was years ago, okay? Has nothing to do with CBS. The only thing it has to do with CBS now is they have a show called Wisdom of the, of the Crowd that uh, uh, he is the star of on that show. And, and they, they somehow want to protect their ass. I, I, don't, I really don't understand it, to tell you the damn truth. Call me, call me a sexist fucking pig, but I think they should lay off Piven, all right? Kevin Spacey, on the other hand, you know, who I, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I uh, was bothered by the original allegations because it was something that happened 30 years ago uh, that he claims he doesn't even remember. Okay, so but listening to all of that, there's a lot of, a lot of iffiness in it, except for the fact that the guy uh, named Anthony Rapp, who is on Star Trek Discovery, um, he plays a guy who, I don't know, he got radiated with some stuff and become like, he can help make them go through space faster. Okay, but don't forget about that. That has nothing to do with this. He said when he was 14, uh, he was playing another play on Broadway and Spacey had a party at his, at his hotel room or in his apartment and he invited a whole bunch of people over and the kid came over and he was bored by the party so he went into the bedroom to... Um, uh, watch TV, and uh, all of a sudden a very drunken, according to him, a very drunken Kevin Spacey um, uh, attacked him uh, and jumped on, it lifted him up like he was a rag doll, as he put it, and then threw him down on the bed and then jumped on top of him, and he said he got out from underneath him, and he left. All right, well, there was no sex involved. Uh, there was, if you believe uh, rap, uh, it was a, uh, he tried to, you know, he tried to initiate something, but they, it didn't happen. Okay. And, uh, for that Casey Spacey has been completely ostracized in the business. Uh, they're, they, they've stopped making the la latest episodes of uh, house of cards, which was due out next year. And, uh, a whole bunch of other things that he was supposed to do have been canceled. Well, you know, all of this, I was saying this about Weinstein, and I'll say this about Kevin Spacey. If you're a nice guy, 
uh, you don't have to worry about this stuff because people will come to your defense. But if you're an asshole, all of a sudden everything else is going to come out. And now there are allegations coming out uh, that the two-time Oscar winner Kevin Spacey continue to surface. The actor will seek evaluation and treatment. Now, why is he getting valuation and treatment if he can't remember an incident that happened 30 years ago and that he fully apologizes for if he did it, but he was drunk so he doesn't remember doing it? The concise statement reads, Kevin Spacey is taking time necessary to seek evaluation and treatment. No other information was available at this time. The public allegations against Spacey began. The, I've just told you all that. Um, here, here's a great one. On Tuesday, filmmaker Tony Montana. Is there really a filmmaker named Tony Montana? You know, that's the name of the lead character in Scarface. Uh, told Radar Online that Spacey had once aggressively, aggressively grabbed his whole package while the two men were at a Los Angeles bar and then followed Montana into a restroom. Rolling Stone adds, Montana is quoted as saying, I backed out the door and pushed him. One of his friends was in line, and I said, it's time to take your boy home, and they ended up leaving. Mexican actor Roberto Cavazos wrote on Facebook about his alleged experiences with Spacey at London's Old Vic Theater, suggesting Spacey was known to prey on young male actors. He wrote, it seems the only requirement was to be a male under the age of 30 for Mr. Spacey to uh, feel free to touch us. The old Vic has responded to the allegations. Uh, I have them somewhere. I didn't print them up, but basically they go, if true, we're so sorry that that happened under our watch. Okay. But here's what I'm saying. If you're a nice guy, you know, people will come to your defense. People will go, oh, you know, he's really a nice guy to lay off of him. But apparently Kevin Spacey isn't too nice a guy. In fact, he's quite the opposite. New allegations of sexual impropriety by Kevin Spacey during the production of the Netflix drama House of Cards surfaced today in a report by CNN. Spacey made the show set a toxic work environment through a pattern of sexual harassment. Eight people who currently work on the show or work on it in the past tell CNN. One former employee told CNN that Spacey sexually assaulted him. The former production assistant, whose account was never previously disclosed, told CNN that Spacey sexually assaulted him during one of the show's early seasons. The report adds, all eight people, each of whom spoke to CNN on the condition of anonymity for fear of professional repercussions for speaking out, described Spacey's behavior as predatory, saying it included non-consensual touching and crude comments and targeted production staffers who were typically young and male. Production on season six of House of Cards has been shut down with producer Media Rights Capital saying, saying that they're investigating the allegations. The company released a new statement today saying we're deeply troubled to learn these new allegations that are being made and to press uh, made to the press concerning Spacey's interaction with members of the crew of House of Cards as producer of the show, creating and maintaining a surf, safe working environment. You notice all of this... You know, it's not like I get the feeling that, that this uh, media rights client or whatever the name of this company is, media, media rights capital, uh, is all that sincere. They're just trying to save their fucking asses because if somebody wants to sue them for Kevin Spacey's actions, they could probably have a fairly decent case. So here are all these people scrambling to save their asses. Oh, it didn't happen on our way. Oh, we're so sorry. We have consistently reinforced the importance of employees reporting any incident without fear of retaliation, and we have investigated and taken appropriate actions following any complaint. Well, then how come the show wasn't canceled like in year one where they say this shit was happening? Why didn't you fire Kevin Spacey? You couldn't because the show was a hit and it was making money for Netflix. So you kind of turn your eye the other way. And if you're media rights capital, you're getting those paychecks from Netflix. You don't want to give that up. So you, you let Spacey goose some interns, you know. I mean, where all of a sudden you've got all these people trying to save their own collective asses. And, and this, is, this is amazing. It is just amazing. Uh, so that's, you know, that's that. Uh, 
the story goes on and on and on and on and on, and I was only going to do a little bit of this, and it wound up being a whole uh, a whole deal. Uh, and I am uh, I'm sorry I took so much of your time with that. Yes. Anyway, today the President of the United States, uh, I can't remember his name now. I think I blocked out of my mind who the President of the United States is right now. It's like... Uh, it's kind of a, 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 what can I call it? Like, I can't recall. It's like it's blanked out of my mind because there is some kind of horrible uh, imprint on my mind that says this is so horrible that I can't even think about it. But anyway, our president got his loonies in Congress today to come out with a new, uh, with the first, what they say is the first tax reform in 40 years. Uh, there's been other things that have been added to the tax uh, system. There have been times when taxes have gone lower. There have been times when they've been raised uh, in my lifetime that I remember. Uh, I didn't pay much attention to it. I just noticed my check was a little lighter than it was when before the... Uh, uh, excuse me, I've got an itchy nose. I'm sorry if I'm doing that. I'm not picking it or anything just no pick no pick uh it's like um, um, it it's an itchy nose wow that's really bad anyway uh um you know but they said they're coming out they came out with this thing, and i watched uh, the uh, uh the republicans hold their little press conference today and they were so elated that they had come up with this whole plan and what they were gonna do and so on and i like schumer's statement about it he said you know uh, it's kind of like uh, like old fish the longer it sits out in the sun the more it starts to stink and the fact is if you start down and start micromanaging like drilling down into this whole plan on the service there are a few things that sound good because they're giving the public something right well, they're actually taking away a lot more than they're giving them. But they, they say, oh, you're going to get, no the average family is going to get $1,200 more a year. Yeah. And then they say, oh, think of what you can do with that $1,200. Listen, why don't you give us $10,000 more a year and, and let us really have a good time. All right? Better yet, I got an idea for you. Let's go back to a time when there wasn't any income tax in this country. And I think the only thing that was taxed were companies. That's how we paid the bills here in the United States. But then one day, uh, a bunch of women got together and they started protesting. First, they wanted equal rights for women so they could vote. But more than that, they wanted to, uh, there was a thing called the WCTU, the Women's Christian, WCTU, the William, Women's Christian Temperance Union. <laughs> That's a mouthful. And uh, they wanted uh, they wanted alcohol taken off the taken off the shelves and so one thing happened and another and prohibition came along and alcohol was uh, illegal well let me tell you that the one way the government made about 65 percent i believe it was of its income was a tax on alcohol so when this disappeared they had to replace it with something and they replaced it with a thing called the income tax. Prior to that, there was no income tax. And once prohibition was over, they went back to taxing alcohol, but they didn't stop taxing the people. Okay? They didn't say, okay, well, we got another way of getting money again, and we'll, we'll do that. They lost 65% of their national income by making booze illegal and made a lot of people rich in the process, by the way. So there was a time when we didn't pay taxes in this country. People, you and I, did not pay taxes. That was for those other people. That was for the people who benefited from this society the most, and that was the corporations. That was, as I said, liquor uh, was a, a large part of that. Uh, and so we didn't have taxes at all, zero. Uh, there was a time when I was growing up back in the late 40s, early 50s, I think it went on way into the 50s, where everything over a million dollars, right, 
was taxed at 90%. In other words, if you made a million dollars a year, 90% of that was taxed. You got to keep 100,000 of it. But in those days, you had a lot of deductions, a lot of things you could do so you could save a lot of that money. But still, the tax base for someone making a million dollars was 90%. Why don't we do that again? Why don't we bring back, just bring back the taxes we had in the 50s, the tax structure we had in the 50s. And I think, uh, and, and maybe do away with individual income tax. If you make under $50,000 a year, you don't pay income tax. And let the fat cats and the people who benefit the most out of this society pay the taxes. And the rest of us can sit around and enjoy ourselves. But this new bill, they're going to minimize, to a certain extent, Medicare. Uh, they're going to uh, lower the amount of, of uh, investment you can make in property uh, to 500000 from a million. Uh, there are a whole bunch of things they're doing. But what they're saying is, oh, we're going to give you $1,200 a year if you're single, $24,000, $12,000 a year if you're single, $24,000 a year if you're a family. Uh, and uh, oh, we're also going to let you take uh, tax off for all the kids you have. So you go out and get yourself nine kids. You know, you can save a lot of money. Uh, bad idea. Uh, so there are so many things in this that what happens in the end is whatever the Republicans told you was going to be wonderful. For you. This is, the president described it, if we can do this by Christmas, as your Christmas present. Oh, yeah. Fuck me. By the way, uh, they, they're going to do away with the, uh, the uh, uh, using uh, medical expenses as a deduction. They're going to do away with a lot of the Medicare stuff. Uh, they have a whole bunch of stuff they're just going to take away. And you know what? You're, they're, giving you, they're giving you a little bit, okay? They're, 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 they're talking to the stupidest of America and saying, we're going to give you, you're going to get, you're going to take, get, take home $12,000 a year, or, or excuse me, $1,200 you will be able to have in your pocket because we're going to save you money on taxes. By the way, by the way, we're lowering the corporate tax from 35% to 20%. But don't look at the man behind the curtain. Don't, uh, don't, look, don't, don't pay attention to that. That's, um, you don't want to pay attention to that. That's nothing to pay attention to. So anyway, that's, that's what's happening. Anyway, I've talked enough. You know, I think I say to myself, uh, you know, I've been doing this a couple of days this week to test it out, uh, going back to doing my little rants. And uh, they, they seem to get a lot of people watching, which is, is good. And uh, do we have a lot of people listening? Let me see here. Let me see here. Where are we? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me see. I want to see what we have. Uh... Uh, yeah, we got it. We, we have um, some fairly decent people out there. Yeah, okay. But uh, anyway, it's it's. Um, oh, here I gotta do. I gotta do something here. Ah, there we go. Okay. Um, anyway, um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up the uh, Skype lines. Uh, what we have here is a, is a not a failure to communicate, a new way to communicate. We have. Uh, a thing where you can call up and you can be on the show. And what we do is we um, um, uh, t uh, take you and we, uh, we put you on the air. And we put you on the air not just with me, but with a whole bunch of other people as well. And it's called a citizen panel. So what happens now is you've got to start calling me. Uh, and this is the place where I sit here and I do my little tap dance and Da, 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 yep, do, 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 and I don't know, and uh, whatever. So, by the way, I'm using a new camera tonight. Uh, uh, it's the same one as I kind that I had before, but uh, the other one uh, seemed to have some problems, or at least it seemed like it used to freeze up on us. And so I thought I'd buy a new camera anyway, because I needed one for another studio I'm building here. And uh, yeah, I'm building a second studio. I don't know why. But anyway, um, uh, so if this doesn't work one night, I can run in there and do it, okay? Uh, but anyway, so I'm, the lines are open if anybody's interested. Uh, so give us a call. Oh, there we go. 
Here comes Phil Meyer, ladies and gentlemen, is the first one out of the uh, uh, out of the uh, box. Hi there, Phil. Hey, hey, I didn't want to make you have to uh, stall too much. <laughs> I know how many times you're going to explain how to how to use Skype. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, I mean, I, I, most people, you know, most a lot of people don't use Skype because they think it's really complicated or something, I and mean, it's not really complicated at all. No, nah, it's just so expensive. Huh? It's so expensive. It's sort of like the, the tax uh, yeah. the plan that they're yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, going to roll it's, out. It's very expensive. You're, you're right, Phil. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I'm still trying to figure out how in the world Skype makes a living. But I guess they do. They must. They keep doing this. You know. Well, 20% uh, of the people pay 90% of the cost of Skype. I, I it's the same with taxes. I, I, I see. <laughs> so, um, we'll get into the whole tax thing in a little bit. I, I, no. you know, save, save the best for later. All right. Let's wait all till right. we have a crowd here and we can all beat up on you at the same time. Yeah, I, I don't really give a shit. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the point where uh, uh, I, I don't, I'm not going to be making as much money, and uh, I'll, I'll take that twelve thousand. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jeff, how are you this evening? Oh, got to turn your mic on. Got to turn your mic on. Turn your mic on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Skype, it's really easy to use. And it doesn't cost that much. Go ahead. Can you figure out why your mic isn't on? Why we can't hear you? Go into your go into your preferences. Go into your preferences and, and check and see if, if you're getting audio there. Maybe that you're turned off there or something. But uh, you're gonna you'll be back. Uh, yeah. 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 It sounds like. It sounds like. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, you know, I mean, come on. Did we used to have silent movies, right? Why not silent video? Yeah. Yeah. We'll get him a little pork pie hat like Buster Keaton had, you know, and uh, either that or a big floppy tie like Stan, uh, Oliver Hardy had, you know. Another but fine I, mess you've he, gotten this into. He's trying to figure out. He just left us. He's trying to figure out what uh, what's happening. Yeah. So Anyway. Um, so um, uh, let me see here. Let me let me just get rid of him here since he's not. Uh, I don't see him there on my screen. Oh, here comes Scott Boddicker. God, we haven't heard from Scott in a while. Hello, hello, Scott. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? Good, good. Uh, nice to see you. We haven't seen you in a while. Well. What, you're getting tired of us, right? I don't say much anyway. It, you, it, you're getting no, 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 well. You do <laughs> once in a while. What? <laughs> you do once in a while. You know, uh, when you get mad at me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jeff? Well, I'm try that's why I'm trying to avoid you. Do I have a voice? I don't yes, you have a voice, Jeff. You have a voice. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Well, Scott, it's supposed to, you know, give you some, uh, you know, uh, some energy, you know, when you when you take off after somebody like that. Well, well I think one night he, uh, almost, he almost had a heart attack doing it, I think, is what. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Really? Yeah. Well, we don't want that to happen. Yeah. Uh, Scott. Years ago, I at my church, and, and uh, now I know how Phil feels because uh, you're free liberal amongst all these knees, and, and uh, it was it was crazy. I couldn't take it. I had to leave. Really? Well, oh, you uh, you were a liberal amongst all the Republicans. Is that how it worked? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know how you do it, Phil. I don't know how you put up with other shit. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't Apparently. listen to any. I don't listen to anybody anyway. You know, he, he will do. Listen, he will do listen. anything that allows him to be the center of attention. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. You know. I, well. Yeah. Uh, hey. You know. Okay. So I'll be a liberal today, and uh, we'll, we'll see. No, what don't happens. do that. Scott, don't do you, that. That would make the show boring. I know. You beat a Republican, Scott. <laughs> I, I love. Trump. And he's giving me all kinds of money. I love him. 
Yeah. 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 You're breaking up a little bit, Scott. I don't know what's wrong. Is your bandwidth bad up there? I I think I need to, uh, I had to reboot my router. Mm -hmm. And I think I, I, when I restarted the computer, I got to the wrong G. I think I'm on the 5G, not the, or whatever. Okay, so want, let, want, me, let me. Okay. But, 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 okay. Okay. All right. Gee whiz. Call us back. Yeah. <laughs> Gee whiz. Yeah. He rebooted his router. Uh, I had some uh, problems on my TV uh, this evening also. Same kind of yeah. thing. You've been watching the show and all of a sudden it stops. Uh, I change it to, from one station. The next station is going fine and then it stops. Do you stop? <laughs> Uh, do you stream your TV stuff on the internet? Is that how? Uh, no, you know, no, are you using no, internet no, to no, get no. TV? He's he yeah. he is probably just using like I I found that I, I uh, FiOS was very weird a couple of days ago. There are some channels that I wasn't getting. It's not like I cared about them. There was a, a Spanish station, uh, and I forget what the other station was. Uh, they weren't important stations, but when I would go to them, they were blank. And um, what I realized I needed to do was reboot my main, my, my main device. And then all the sets got that, those channels again. So, you know, I don't know what you have, Jeff, but it could very well be that it's something in your system uh, uh, that isn't, it, you know, it's probably them, not you. All right. Or maybe this system upgrade is software. <clears throat> Scott's picture looks much better now. Yeah. 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 Hi, Scott. That's it. Uh, it looks better because he's frozen. Because he's frozen. Yeah. <laughs> on the right. He's perfectly frozen. Yeah. I... Wow. You, you, you got it really. Now he's, now he's moving. Yeah, now yeah. he's moving. Just move slowly. Then it won't. <laughs> but anyway, no, I, you know, I, I the, the, the weird kind of problems that, for instance, I have here. Uh, I, I watch a lot of stuff off um, network drives in the uh, in the guest room, and lately it's having a hard time with uh, like 1080p files, and I have to go and reboot the the uh, the uh, what do you call it the switcher that mm -hmm. I have in that room. I have to unplug it and replug it, and then all of a sudden I get all the bandwidth I need. And I don't know what's causing that. You know, it's, it's driving me crazy. But there's something that that is when you turn it on, s fucks up that system or something. Sunspots. But what I'm saying is that a lot of times, with especially with TV stations in this digital age, Jeff, we have a problem yeah. where they they don't give you a stable signal all the time. And so certain, you ever notice sometimes you go to certain channels and they're blank, you know, yeah. and then you come yeah. back to them later and they're working again. Mm -hmm. You know, well, that's that's digital. OK, Well, everything I watch is off the Roku uh, because uh, that feeds in uh, the way I get my TV stations on uh, uh, Sling and uh, and so forth. And uh, oftentimes uh, it sits there and says that it's loading, it's loading. Uh, you know, I know I've got a decent amount of bandwidth. But, well, it could uh, be it could be a problem again if you're using something like Sling for instance, yeah, I think you I use. Reboot, I rebooted the Roku. Yeah, but I mean, and what it could be is Sling is down, or Sling is having problems. problems. Yeah, well, that's a possibility. You, you know, so that's that's uh, that's always a a, a definite possibility. Mm -hmm. uh, so I mean, but we we have a tendency to blame ourselves when it's, and I still do it to this day. I blame myself when, if you get down to it, it's really their fault, not yours. Yeah. yeah, we haven't done anything. Yeah, but you somehow, the, the first person you blame is yourself, you know. Now, uh, you were, ha um, uh, Alex, you were having storms uh, this week, right? Yeah. Uh, is Scott having any weather issues? Uh, you know, maybe that's. Are you having any weather issues out just there, Scott? Huh? Uh, say it again, Scott. It's, you're breaking up like crazy, Scott. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can bet. I'm going to go back to the other one. Okay. okay. He'll call us back in a second. Are, are you there, uh, Mike? Do you just, Mike just joined Yep, us. I'm here. Yep. Okay. So there's Mike. And uh, somebody's 
got a, a device on. Huh? Somebody's got a device on that yeah. I can hear. Well, uh, no, now it's okay. Now it's yeah. fine. <clears throat> you know, but I mean, like, I always blame myself for stuff like crazy, you know, when, it, when it's not really my fault. But, yeah. you know, you got you, you, you got to you got to do it, you know, uh, it, because, it, oh, it's got to be my fault. What do I do wrong? And you didn't do anything wrong. You know, it's them. It's their system. Um, I have uh, a problem here with, uh, 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 you know, with my uh, uh, my looking at this show on, on one of my uh, browsers using uh, what do you call it? Google's thing. Uh, uh, Chrome. Chrome. And, and, you know, it, I really think it's Chrome's fault, not mine, because when I run the whole thing on, on Safari, it works perfectly. I have no problem at all. So mm. I, but I blame me. What am I doing wrong? You know, do I have too many things open? You know. Hi, I'll tell you what I did wrong. Wait a minute. Hi, Patrick. Hey. Yeah, we don't have a picture on you, Patrick. Governor uh, Brown. You just thing in the middle of my screen bouncing back and forth. I think I'm going to... Kill it and call back. Boy, everybody's got problems tonight. <laughs> tonight's not my tonight's. I didn't do nothing tonight. Really. Oh, okay, well, no, we're not blaming you, but I uh, okay. Yeah, uh, uh, Patrick, call call back, Patrick. You know, I mean, uh, uh, what Jeff had a problem. Scott has a problem. Patrick has a problem. It's not my problem. I've got all the bandwidth in the fucking world. I got more bandwidth than I'll ever need. You know, <laughs> I just I looked uh, my uh, router, uh, not router, uh, modem mm -hmm. uh, can only handle up to 125. Uh, uh, what's the speed? Uh, when, uh, 125 is it gigs or megs or? Uh, uh, you're yeah, right. uh, yeah, megs. Yeah, megs. Megs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because it's a Doxus 3. Now there's a Doxus 3.1, which can handle up to the speeds that you have, Alex. So I looked into the possibility of getting a faster uh, a faster internet, but it, the faster internet that they offer does, yeah. isn't any faster up than, uh, than the one that's a gig down. Well, let me ask you this question. Why would you need what I have? Why not? You got it. I want it. Uh, I know that. <laughs> yes. like a little kid, Phil. <laughs> but, yeah. But why do you need it? Is the question. You know. I don't need anything. But I, I, you know, I. He who has dies with all the toys. Uh, you know. Yeah, but I mean, uh, but, but you say to yourself, why do you need it? Uh, I don't. I, I, I tell you that. Can I be can, Roku? Can I be honest with you? Yeah. I don't even really need it. Uh, the only way I need it is that it just saves me time when I'm uploading these shows to the uh, to, to GoDaddy so that they can mm -hmm. play on the on demand and uh, uh, they they zip right up boom you know it's yeah. like you know my retina detach while I'm watching it you know uh, well you know why do you need a car with 500 horsepower because yeah. it's there. You know, well, I mean, yeah. Uh, uh, let me put it this way: I, uh, I I do get a degradation because I I ran Ethernet into all my rooms, but I think I use cable that was not capable of really high speeds, so I don't get the full high speed into all the rooms uh, that I would normally is there get. A although standard uh, cable? Uh, 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 no, there there you you can if you uh, I learned this after the fact that I. So, I could have bought or... Ethernet that had more capability, okay? Uh -huh. And so you have to go buy that, you know. So that, was the, that was the problem. Are you yeah. still there, Scott? Yeah, there he is. Okay, yeah. You, yeah, I was just shutting off my video to see if you guys would sound better, no, and it sounded about the same. No, you, so. you look fine now. You're smooth. Your sound is good. You're not breaking up, you know. Okay. Suave and debonair. You're, okay. the, you're, okay. you're the old Scott we've always known and loved. But uh, no, uh, you know, I but uh, all I'm saying is, is that when they try to sell you all the speed, folks, uh, you don't necessarily need it. What you do need is enough capacity. Let's say you got a family of four and you got kids. They want to watch a couple of Netflix programs, each in their own room, you know, and you want to watch a, a show on Hulu. But you're all going to be using this massive amount of bandwidth. If you don't, if you have that bandwidth, everybody can watch it. With no problem. If you don't have bandwidth, it gets it gets a bit difficult, you know. So uh, that's why you need the bandwidth. 
You, in your case, Phil, you don't need the bandwidth. You, you, you can live very nicely with 125 up, you know. Uh, I, the, I have uh, a 125 down, rather. Down. Yeah. Right. You can live I, with that. That's more than you'll ever need. If you yeah, and Faye it's design, 10 or 12 up. Yeah, if you and Faye want to watch each two different programs on two different uh, internet networks, uh, mm-hmm. no problem. No problem. Yeah. Well, so far it's it's been good enough, but, uh, you know, with all of this cloud stuff and uh, the, uh, you know, Adobe, and now you're going to be able to store your stuff uh, 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 on Adobe's, uh, you know, your Lightroom stuff. Um uh, it's a new one they came out with. Uh, I wouldn't mind having. Why do I want to store it on, on their cloud? It's one more place, and plus, then you can work on it over all your computer platforms. So if I'm yeah, but at, if you if, if you have a network drive at home, uh, you can do that with, with the network. Oh, you're talking about you can use your iPhone to work with it and so on. Well, so I, I can I you know I can use my. Uh, uh, my pa- uh, iPad or my yeah, uh, you're, con- Mac- you're, you're convincing yourself of stuff you'll never use. Yeah, well, maybe <laughs> to justify yeah. it. Hey, Patrick, yeah. how you doing? Tip top. Tip tip top. Top. Yep. Yeah, that's the best, right? Is tip top. Yeah. So, no, no complaint. Yeah. So, what's the speed you're running, Patrick? Fuck if I know. I don't really. Give a- <laughs> oh, I, mean, I bet if I ask most people what the speed of their uh, internet is, they don't know. You know, like Jeff, do you know what your speed is? I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, do you know? Who knows? See, <laughs> uh, Scott, do you know? I could look it up. <laughs> you know, the best it, way to do it is. Uh, Google Google the term bandwidth. Google the term bandwidth test, and then I've, I've done a speed test. Yeah, and you can oh, d- yeah, test your speed. It, I don't think it's anywhere near what they are selling me. But well, I think I think some people are trying to game you. All right, because I know what speed I have as a as a t- tip top. Mm-hmm. Uh, what speed I have. Uh, but if I go over to Spectrum and use their meter, mm-hmm. it somehow has me way lower than I am. And if I go over to FiOS and test it, it has it at massive speeds, okay? So it's like the people you, you're with like want to flatter you, and the people who you aren't with want to make you feel that you should go over to them because you're just not getting your money's worth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's true. Yeah. The only problem is I was getting, what, 300 uh, down and about, uh, I don't can't remember, 20 up, 20 megabytes up. And that was uh, uh, costing me on a plan with the TV and everything. It was costing me $336 a month. I'm on Fios getting more cable channels than I used to get. Higher bandwidth speed, like almost a meg up and a meg down. And uh, I, I think they come over once a month and they blow you, actually, at Fios. Uh, and it's, it's only <laughs> it's only two hundred and twenty one dollars unless you want unless you want the you want the uh, a full release, in which case it costs a few bucks more. But, yeah. yeah, I, I got uh, I, I argued with Comcast and they're giving me this for 60 bucks. Really? And, uh, you know, the, I supposedly get a $30 a month discount because I told them I was going to leave. So and so every uh, I think it's year or six months. I don't remember what it is. If the bill goes up, I call them back again and say, that's not the deal. <laughs> and they give me the hey, Comcast keeps going up, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, but you got to You got to you got balls. See? Comcast is lousy. I wouldn't trust Comcast with the. Yeah, but what are you going to do if you're in an area where all you got is Comcast? Where are you going to go? Yeah, yeah. I I looked at this thing called Wave, which used to be Astound, which is supposedly uh, like your FiOS, but um, it isn't. They don't have the uh, upload speeds that your FiOS does, and I don't have FiOS in this area. Yeah, but I mean, in most cases, in most towns, like for instance, here in Manhattan. If you want a cable system, there's only one cable system. It's Spectrum, mm-hmm. okay, which used to be Time Warner. Uh, that's cable. Fios came in with their fiber optic, 
And so they were able to somehow, I guess, get a deal with the city. And so they're competing against Spectrum. But prior to that, there was you either you either got Time Warner or or Spectrum or whatever, or you didn't get anything. You know, uh, you had to take what they gave you. Uh, yeah. Because what happened is that at, at one point, the city of New York awarded the cable franchises to two companies, one uptown, Teleprompter, and downtown, a company called Sterling. And uh, eventually, Time Warner bought both of them, and it became, you know, uh, uh, Time Warner Cable, uh, who then ruled the whole, the whole deal. Then Fios came along. And it's been taking them a long time, but they're starting to make some real inroads into putting a, a big dent into Spectrum because I got to tell you, I mean, I changed plans. I went from Spectrum and I went to Fios and I thought I would rue the day I did it, okay? Because everybody was warning me, oh, they're going to be secret charges. Da, 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 da. I'm, I'm paying, you know, uh, over $125 less than I used to pay at Spectrum and I'm getting more. Yeah. So, uh, and I don't know, maybe maybe one day I will suddenly get that colossal $400 bill where they've said, okay, all the little things have run out. When that happens, I go back to Spectrum. I mean, fuck it. You know, I've got the best of both worlds now. Yeah. So, uh, but, it, it, you know, the trouble is in most of these areas, there's only one cable company. And so when you say, you know, you don't like Comcast, Mike, <laughs> if, if all you've got is Comcast, then you got to take Comcast. And you know what? In my area, even if I get this wave, which used to be a sound, it's it's copper wire, just like Comcast. Oh, oh well, then it's not it's not uh, it's not fiber. It's not fiber optic. This is fiber. This is actual fiber. I mean, I, I I can show you the. I mean, if I took the camera, I could show you the wire. It's a very thin little wire that comes into the apartment, and there's a beam of light going through it. You know, mm. and and it it it. It uh, people tell me, for instance, that the show, my voice, my whole, the whole show sounded clearer once we went to FiOS. Yeah, it does. Yes. You know, uh, and uh, so. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, you know what? It, what? What did you say, Jeff? Did you say something? Uh, that wasn't me. Oh, oh. It was somebody else. Somebody. Interrupting somebody us. in in your in your in your in your room. Hey, let's uh, let's let's talk about the elephant in the room, and that's the Republicans. Uh, <laughs> they they came out with the. Uh, is everybody kind of aware of the plan they came out with today? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not aware of the particulars. The only thing I heard is what you said, and of course, I don't believe it. Of course, so. you don't believe what I say. <laughs> Did you hear about it, Patrick? Pay attention to it. Basically, what you said, I didn't really give a shit. You know, I I don't. I don't live my life with the politics and the bullshit because, number one, it isn't anywhere close to being passed. It's just a plan that's put out there. So until something actually happens, I don't care. And frankly, even if it did pass, there's nothing I can do to stop it because elections are not until next year. So if I don't like it, I can't vote anybody out till then. So well, I take a shit every night without having to worry about politics. Here's no. the here's the bad news. Okay? Here's the bad news. The bad news is this is something. This is one of those very rare situations where if they were to pass what they want to pass, each and every one of us are going to be affected by it. And we're going to be affected in a very real way, you know, because we're talking about the money in our pocket and what goes out and what comes in and how much is left over after it's all, you know, it's all I, know I got affected. Uh, yesterday, if I would have put my car up with gas, it would have been 12 cents a gallon less than it cost me today because Governor Brown put in a 12 cent a gallon gas tax. Now, when the price of gas starts skyrocketing again because uh, OPEC starts cutting our supply, you think they're going to reduce that tax? No. They're going to they're gonna keep it there. The, the government never finds a way to take a tax away, just like you said earlier with income tax. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the only reason yeah, but, the only reason why the income tax came to be, as I said, was because of prohibition. Because sixty-five percent of the income 
to the United States government was from liquor. And taxation you know, Italy, of liquor. And so when you, they when they did away with liquor, they had to have it come from somewhere else. So they started taxing you and me. Well, after Prohibition was over, do you think they said, okay, no more taxes for anybody. We got another way to make money again. No. They got too used to getting money from us. Do and it, you know yeah. how the government makes, uh, makes money in Italy? They tax uh, salt and they tax matches. Uh, those are those are the two uh, main or were you know uh, uh, when I was over there working uh, that those are the two main ways that they get the tax income uh, in the Italian government. The rest of it they steal. But uh, yeah, well, I, I I don't believe that matches and I don't and believe salt. it. I don't believe yeah, it. Look I, it up. Uh, I think I they said it's changed I, I in the last they, 25, I think they, 30 I, years. I think I think they saw an American that they could do a scheme uh, on. Okay. Yes, yeah. Patrick. Um. That's one of the reasons that I was so against building that fucking stadium here in Milwaukee uh, almost 20 years ago because the tax was only supposed to be for 14 years. We're still getting tax on it because they extended it. Once you put in a tax, it never gets taken away. Right. It doesn't matter what the tax is on a local level, state level, or national level. Yeah. It never gets taken away because... Eventually, everybody kind of forgets about it except me. And then they're not going to, uh, I mean, if, it, if it's a cash cow, why are they going to get rid of it? So, you know, that, that's why you bring up single payer every once in a while with me and I tell you stick it in your ass because I'm paying for this goddamn stadium yet. Yeah, well. You know? We are too over here in California, Sacramento. Uh, just like you, uh, you know, stupid stadium they built, to add the tax to it. You know what I've, never, what I've never been able to totally grasp the enormity of, because, and I, I should with my sports Emmy, uh, is why we as a public have to pay for sports teams, which are a financial concern, to have a stadium. Oh, yeah, what, I, they won't, I, they, I, they'll I, move to sir. another city? Goodbye. We'll see you later, but you know, uh, we're, uh, you know what, what's with this social? What is it with this socialism for baseball teams? For Christ's sake, how do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Patrick. Well, uh, the reason being is a lot of cities they want sports teams, so they're willing to give all of these tax breaks and incentives to a team. However, I've never been one that supported, you know, um, basically welfare for businesses. I mean, if you want to come into Milwaukee and you want to be a business and you want to make money here, finance your own. Don't It shouldn't be on the back to taxpayers. Right. You know, maybe a, a small financial consideration like a tax break for the first five years or something like that, mm -hmm. but don't make us pay for it. Right. You know, so that's why they do it. Can I say one thing wait, about wait, it? Wait, 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 wait. Mike had his hand up. Okay. Pa uh, Patrick, on the business uh, where you're at, uh, now, are they trying to incent more businesses to come around the stadium to, you know, enhance it? That's what we were sold. And, and the thing is, I never believed it because if, if – you would have to see in Milwaukee where it's at. It is not in a primary area where it's easy to get to from anywhere. Right. And the businesses that are around there are like strip mall type thing. Nothing big, no um, five-star restaurant, that sort of thing. And now we have another stadium that we're building, and I brought this up several months ago, for the Milwaukee Buck basketball team. It's the same fucking thing. And that one is at least in the middle of our downtown area. But there's not going to be any new businesses because all the businesses that can be downtown are already there. So Here, here, here in Sacramento, same way, Patrick. All these businesses are coming back to downtown. But still, you know... It's taken them forever to do that. Plus, you know, tax keeps going up, 
And it, when he built it, just like yours, downtown, every yelled at him, you should have left the stadium where it was and just rebuild the damn thing. Make it bigger and better and everything else. No, no, no. City Council has their finger up their ass saying, oh, we can do it. We can help downtown, improve downtown, blah, 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 blah. Well, F you, City you, Council. You mean the government can do it better than the private enterprise? Uh, oh, hearing. fuck that. Fuck that. City uh, Council is going to hell. Hey. Uh, I was a little wrong on this taxation. Uh, my date was a little messed up. It yeah. seems as though... Um, Can we all uh, have a drink? Well, sort of. Yeah. Uh, it seems as though in the 1918, 1917, 1918 budget, uh, sources of revenue for the lira uh, in Italy was salt, matches, playing cards, and lotteries. So... Um, the, the, those were considered sources sources of revenue, but it seemed to be that it's about a hundred years ago. A <laughs> hundred years ago, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that that's when we had a run on tulips in Holland. So you know, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. But now uh, taxes the the highest uh, earners pay about forty three percent. Forty three percent. Yeah. Oh, okay. In, in Italy. In Italy. But it, they did tax salt and matches as as their revenue. It's just that it was a hundred years ago. <laughs> so uh, I, I was partially right. You can take half a drink. Pa partially right is not. Uh, this is not even partially right. It's not even partially close. Uh, yeah. It's right there. It's, uh, you know. You're a hundred years behind, Phil. Yeah. Well, it's a hundred years behind the curve. Yeah. By the way, That's we've been joined by Brian and we've been joined by Tony in case people want to know who those people are that just uh, popped in it's here. Phone too. Uh, we're one short of a full house, actually. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jeff. Well, I'm going to have to, uh, to vote for a junior high school uh, update right in town here. Mm -hmm. So what, do you guys get involved in that kind of stuff? I put carpet in schools. What, what do you mean by an update? In Why words, do you need carpet in schools, Phil? Wait a Hold on a second. Well, let, let, me, let, me, let me ask you this. Uh, it, when you say uh, uh, update, you mean they want to improve the school. They want to do some right. improvements to right. the school. Physical, physical building, all kinds of science equipment and things like that. Well, you know, I think, you know, huh. You know, I, yeah, I, I mean, how else are we going to build better schools if we don't put out money for them out of our own pockets? You know, uh, the city ain't going to hold a bake sale, right? You know, yes, Patrick. Uh, I think it, it's different for each individual school, even within a city or a town. Um, it depends on the year the school was built, what type of uh, equipment they have. I know we had that in my hometown, which is right next door to where I live right now, where they expanded my high school by almost 100%. And it was needed because they shut down one of the other high schools in the city, and then they had to split them between the remaining two, and both schools didn't have the capacity when it happened. So they were both expanded. And then in the greatest, just the most, governmental way of thinking they reopened that third school they shut down because they realized they needed more space so they expanded on two schools and then they reopened the damn thing that they shut down i mean just idiocy so well let me it, let me let me it, let, let, hey alex yeah yes tim some oh somebody made money on that construction is would be my guess and they that's why they wanted to do the uh the add-ons, and they make money on that. But I got a message for Patrick real quick, too. Yeah. Uh, part of the bill, some of the little things, they're going to take away the tax credits for s small businesses to put in uh, th to meet ADA requirements for the disabled, like ramps and ADA uh, facilities. They're taking that tax credit out. Oh, wow. So it'll make it harder for, t for small businesses to comply with the ADA Act. They don't make it harder. If you're a small business and you don't comply, you get sued. Yeah, I was just going to say, Tim, it, there's, no, there's no choice. Um, if you are no, doing modeling of your facility, you are required by law 
Now, the tax incentive is if you wanted to remodel, and this was a way to kind of push you in that direction, but if you are con constructing a new building or you're going ahead with remodeling, regardless if there's a tax incentive, Oh, absolutely, it's, but it's going to decrease the amount of, of, of improvements that are made because of those tax incentives go away. I don't get it. I understand there'll still be, you still have to meet the law, but it is going to greatly decrease nationwide. A lot of the small ministers say, well, I'm not going to remodel because I, I, I just don't have enough money. just don't have enough money. I, I don't, me personally, but I'm the oddball of the crippled community. I don't really give a shit. If I can't get in, he's the oddball. I'll... You're the oddball of the crippled community. He's one of the. He can walk. Uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, I'll just go somewhere else, and I've done that before. I mean, you know, if there used to be a pub that I used to go to it with friends, and we used to have dinner there. Well, they got stem, and there's not a ramp. And when I got paralyzed, we realized. It was too much for them to carry me up two steps or three steps, whatever it was. We just go well, somewhere else. I've been meaning to send a thank you letter to a person in our apartment house who is in a wheelchair, is wheelchair bound, because we are the only, there, there are four separate kind of entrances to what we call the buildings, which are all part of the, off of this courtyard. They're all, it's not like they're separate buildings, really. They're just separate separate set of elevators okay uh and uh we are the only one that has a ramp we have these stairs these little stairs you go up but we're the only one with a ramp because we're the only one that has a person with a wheelchair and so when i go to costco i used to have to take my costco card and thunk it up these stairs in order to get it now i just roll it right up the ramp and i just want to thank them for that you know <laughs> So, that's uh, so crippled community. My hat is off to you. Okay. Oh wait a minute. Are sorry. you using the uh, when you go to Costco? Are you using the motorized uh, 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 thing that has the card on the front? Well, I'm hoping my leg gets worse because then I'll be able yeah. to, you know, and then I can be nasty like the rest of those people who are in those fucking cards. <laughs> who, yeah, who, who I seem to go out of my way. I'm a, I'm a cripple. Leave, you know, and the only reason they're in one of these things is so fucking fat they can't waddle down the down yes. the aisles. You know, I've seen that also in the grocery stores. Yeah, you know, ladies are real heavy set lady. Her fat's hanging out from the cart. She's like, get the hell out of my way. I'm coming through. I had a guy, yeah, who, used, I had a guy who used to work on my show named Chuck Varnum. And we, were, we wanted to go to Disneyland. We were going to go to Disney World. And uh, he, then he punked out on me. But we were going to go there. And the, one of our express things that we wanted to do was we were going to go and get one of those, uh, one of the, uh, like, uh, wheelchairs that they give out complimentary because they have to be good citizens, right? And then I was going to wheel him around, and then we would park it somewhere where there was a lot of people, and I would just start slapping him in the face saying, I told you, you can't go on that ride. You're a gimp. <laughs> oh, jeez. And, and then uh, roll those ladies over a dough and find the left spot, I guess. <laughs> yeah, hey, Patrick? A hey, uh, friend of mine and I, we were, I forget, we were at a park somewhere. We had gone there just the afternoon or whatever it was, and there's um, a, a set of stairs to get down to a lower area right mm -hmm. by a lagoon. Yeah. And he took me, and we did a running start as if he was going to run me off the steps. And uh, there were some people standing around that started screaming at him, what are you doing? My God, what are you doing? And then he stopped just in time, and you know, so we've had fun like that. Uh, and that's one of the advantages of being in a wheelchair; you can fuck with people. Well, I got to tell you, I, I my, my, again, my hat is off. Oh, God, I can't do that. That looks terrible. Uh, my hat is off to 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 the uh, the crippled American, uh, because the one thing where it's had an advantage for me, at least in my life, is the use of your handicapped stalls. I like, I don't like, I have, I'm claustrophobic and I don't like the yeah. closeness of the, in the smallest, of, yeah, of toilets. So the fact that I, I'm not prevented from using the handicapped stall, 
allows me to go in there and uh, almost hold a bake sale. I mean, it's like a lot of room, you know? And I thank you for that. Nice. You ever been in a bathroom where you use the handicap stall and there's a guy in a wheelchair waiting to waiting to get in? And so you walk out all fat and happy and he's looking at you like, hey, you're using my stall. I never yeah. had it happen. No, I have. never had it yeah. happen to me. Never had it happen either. But I always feared that. You always had a fear of that. I've never had a fear of that. Patrick said I so. Just something. hurry up and say, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, my my question is, how about those? Well, at the movie theater, if if they if they want to go down, yeah, there is an elevator. You can take an elevator down if you're in a. Patrick had a toilet story. Yes, Patrick. Not a toilet story, but I've been that guy waiting, and then eventually, if if I know somebody taking a good long shit, I don't care. So I'll go to the urinal because I'm just using it to take a piss. And then it becomes alien time for everybody else because I catheterized myself <laughs> right there out in the open. I mean, what am I going to do? I got to piss. So I'm pulling it out, sticking it in my dick, and everybody can see. And then when the guy from the stall well, didn't you, didn't you, out, didn't you once refer to that as grabbing it and stabbing it? Grabbing it, stabbing it, moving and tubing. There's all sorts of Okay. Hey, Alex, I got a story, too. Grabbing, stabbing, moving, too. Yes, yes. With the Yeah. Uh, we had an activist. I, I, I managed a Social Security office. Yeah. And we had a kind of an activist disabled person, which is fine, come in early before we were open. And back then, we, we locked the bathrooms because nobody else was open in the building. Mm-hmm. He came in early, got snuck in. And since he couldn't get in the bathroom, we walked out, and he was emptying his tube into the drinking fountain. <laughs> now you never want to use a drinking fountain again. Yeah, probably. no, that's not good. That's not good. That's that's unusual. But you know, he was making a point that don't lock the bathrooms. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, we have to go get the key. And our office wasn't open yet. So I, I saw a YouTube this morning where speaking uh, this, of tubes, uh, I saw a YouTube this morning. Right. Yeah, the, this news crew. Uh, went in and they rented nine different hotel rooms and they had this uh, paint that would only show up under black light and it was uh, it would wash off and so they used a stencil and uh, they on the sheets they stenciled I slept here and on the uh, on the uh, top sheet they stenciled yuck and on the uh, pillows they stenciled uh, whatever their logo was. Uh, then the next day, they rented the room under someone else's name, the same room, and they went right. in with the black light, and they and they saw that the sheets weren't changed in three out of the nine uh, uh, hotel chains, and these are major hotel chains, uh, and you know, so when you you look at you know uh, disgusting stuff, you think, uh, oh well, somebody just urinated in in the water fountain, uh, you know how how disgusting. Now you know. You, now you got to worry about you go into, uh, y- y- yeah, <laughs> you go into uh, a hotel and they don't change the sheets, and so they're right, you're supposed, you're supposed to bring your own sheets, sheets though. Yeah, that's what they say. Uh, yeah, you, well, you're going to bring yeah. your own sheets and, and you know, or put can I just bring on? a sleeping bag? By the way, Jeff oh. just showed us. Was that your wife, right, Jeff? Jeff. So that is definitely my wife. That's definitely your wife. Also, the other, yeah, yeah. there, there she is. There she hi. is. Hi, hi, Mrs. Jeff. Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't be shy. We don't bite. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, yeah. I was going to say, is that? A, do you have, do you, do, do, uh, I'm looking. Do you have an Apple Watch on? Oh, that's a a Fit. Oh, it's a Fit. Oh, okay. All right. Fit. And the best part about it is you can see this metal, expensive-looking part of it. Yeah. $9. Well, my watch, my watch, I have a, 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 a chain mail kind of, you know, this this kind of what they call the, the metal strap, you know, really nice. They sell them at Apple for I think seventy five dollars. This one I bought online for sixteen bucks. Right. You know, <laughs> uh, d- don't ever you buy any Hermes knockoff uh, for the Apple Watch yeah. for thirty five dollars. And if you buy the Hermes Apple Watch, it's uh, it's a couple of thousand dollars. 
uh, you know, have you seen that? It's like a leather, a brown leather band. No. Uh, that Apple sells, uh, and, it, and it says Hermes on it. Yeah, which well, is a, Hermes, which is Hermes, it's pronounced. Hermes. Yeah, Hermes. Not, it's not Hermes. Not Herm Hermes? I leave my $900 Hyman. Get someone that's, get, get, get an engraved Hyman on there. Hyman, yeah. Yeah, there we go. But uh, that's for Duke Grant. Well, well. Anyway, let's let's go back. Now, the French would actually put a Z on their name. That doesn't sound right. No, no. It's it's H E R M E S, and it's pronounced Hermes. <laughs> All Hermes. right. It's it's nuclear. Yeah. You, right. You're talking about football stadiums. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe there's a provision in this tax bill also, and it's only only going to save uh, under a billion dollars that. States and locals can no longer issue federal bonds for uh, professional stadiums that will be now federally tax exempt from federal tax. So that that should make everybody a little bit happy. They'll lose their federal uh, tax exemption for some of these big stadiums. Oh well, okay, but uh, if, well, let, well, let, you know, if, if we, I haven't drilled down completely into this, but uh, you might know about. You probably looked at a lot of it, uh, Jeff. Well, no, I, I I just caught a few things on Twitter. Uh, I posted two or three just on the Facebook because there's one that lists seven different types of families and how much some people would save nineteen dollars a year. The richer people are close to a million dollars a year. So well, can I tell you what? Uh, can I tell you what pisses me off? Okay, is this whole concept? We're going to save American families. Well, you know there are a lot. Of, there are a lot of single people in this world. There are also a lot of divorced people in this world. I mean, why are we? Why do we just care about families? I mean, to begin with, right. I don't think that we should give you a tax relief on every kid you have, because then if you've got nine kids, if you're the Duggars, for Christ's sake, you're going to save a fortune, but you're going to be taking up a lot of parking spaces. It, it should cut off after like five or something like that. You could no, also it should argue cut, what constitutes no, the definition it, of family. It, it should cut off after two, and for every one after two that you have, you owe the government money. You know what's another big lie, wanna... uh, Alex? The, wait, 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 hold, hold on, hold on a second. Families... Hold on a second. Yeah, what would you say, Brian? I said, well, for one thing, that last remark I made was, I'm down with that. I completely agree. I, I said earlier, you mentioned this a few days ago, uh, and I said, uh, hell, I take it even a step further after one kid. But, hey, it is what it is. Nevertheless, I also, uh, uh, I, uh, I just uh, think, you know, and enough is enough. And also, yeah, I just remember my train of thought. You could also argue for the families that do exist, what do you define as family? Typically, these people, these individuals, these politicians, they define family as, you know, white, upper middle class, uh, uh, you know, Jimmy John Schlong <laughs> Jr., uh, Cantalina Tina, Kathy Cunt, and Charlie Chode. But, uh, you know, there, there are families that have no relation to one to one another, you know, a group of, uh, uh, of people who have been outed as gay, who then band together and, you know, platonically. And well, the, that, that's a family that has, I've, I've seen that. Yeah. In my, uh, well, I, you know, know, I, this whole concept of family, I mean, like I, I, I my, my wife and I, uh, never had any kids. Uh, we're married, but we, we, uh, you know, we're not that kind of family they're talking about, you know, they're saying, if you're a family of four, you know, you're going to, at the end of the year, you're going to have $1,200 more. Oh, really? And how much more are the corporations going to have because we're giving a 15% decrease in their tax bill? I mean, aren't you, aren't you doing a little kind of like bait and switch here? You, you, you know the other big lie, Alex? Yeah. The, the tax savings for the families ends in 2022. The tax savings for the rich people like the estate tax and all the corporations... It's permanent. Permanent. Yeah. Well, you know, the, yeah, only, so the only thing they, they don't really care about families. That's a big lie. The, uh, the one thing lie. they said they were going to do away <laughs> with. Your estate should be taxed twice when you earn the money and when you die. Is that fair? No, you're inheriting. I, well, what we don't want, what we don't want to, what we do want to prevent is uh, oligarchical families where they just amass so much money and have such good tax, like tax uh, repairs. That they don't pay any tax, they use all their services, and you get this big lump of money going to, you know, they said that there was only going to be 80 families that would save 
still would be hurt yes. by that estate tax. That's, in that's, the mass like that's right. Uh, you're absolutely right. I heard that same statistic but, uh, today. Trump would say, Trump's kids would say $500 million. <laughs> hey, that's almost as good as my $100 a month. You know, come on. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> the, 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 yes, Jeff. I would say that we are finally, uh, except for maybe, except for Phil, we can all calculate how little real benefits we're going to get from the well, tax but, 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 benefit. But the question I, is, Trump how, Trump how Trump much Trump how much Trump is going to be taken away? There are going to be cuts made to Medicare under this bill. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, there are there are going to be. Uh, 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 I think uh, I use that. Yeah, I use it too. Uh, uh, I, listen, I'm telling you, you cut my fucking Medicare, I swear I'm going to get a bunch of old people and we're going to start bombing railroad stations, okay? You know, we're going to start being violent because half of us have terminal diseases anyway and have nothing to lose, you bastards, you know? If you try and kill us by cutting our Medicare, we're going to kill you. Okay, well, how's that? that? You, on YouTube. you know, while you're while you're worried about your Medicare, the the French pronounce the label Hermes. That's what I said. Yeah, Hermes. But the Greek god is Hermes. Well, we're not talking about the French. The, I, I know, but, uh, but Hermes <laughs> is the Greek god, and uh, ah. and but they actually pronounce it differently. But anyway, there's 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 another thing that I heard that. There are provisions here that uh, they're going to do away with uh, with a uh, tax deduction for uh, medical expenses. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, so I mean, they're going to take they're going to take they're going to take all this stuff away, but they're going to give you but, but you're going to be able to take home that twelve hundred dollars a year. Whoop de fucking do! They're lower, no, they're lowering the tax. And they're taking away the deductions. You know, you can't have both. Yes, you can. In kidding. fact, I have a great idea. That why don't we start? Why don't we start taxing everybody who makes more than a million dollars a year that ninety percent again, and stop fucking taxing the rest of us? Okay. I agree, Alex. I agree with that. Your pitchforks and your torches, and go storm the castle. I plan on it. <laughs> All right. You know, because I got to tell you, I think I think old people should rise up. We should be like the we should be like uh, like the uh, uh, old people ISIS, okay? And 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 uh, we have nothing to lose. We have nothing Jerry, to lose. Jerry ISIS. You know how are they going to rise up? With this concern like with the they, early bird special. <laughs> well, uh, well, you know, I mean, I'm I'm not talking about marching. You know, I mean, we we're going to have to that that one's off the table. But all I'm saying is, Alex. is that if they're well, yes, yes, Scott. You can have a shit in. You're right. We can have a shit in. <laughs> yeah, that would that would work perfect. You go in shit Florida, in your pants in their office. A lot in of Florida, they a lot call of them out the cockas. A lot of old people taking a dump. I think that that would. Uh, uh, you Locked think wa you think Washington stinks now? Wait till we get there for our march. You can ask Harvey Washington. Shit, pee. Oh, 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 very yet. <laughs> shit and pee. You know the other joke about Eat the tax bad. laws? What? Uh, the corporations are only paying an effective tax rate of around 18%. Yes. So they're, they're going to drop it from 35 to 20. They're, they're not changing anything. The corporations will still be paying about 20%. So I don't get it. Of course, they can, they'll probably still figure ways to get out of it. No, they'll probably find ways of, 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 uh, of being able to cut but, that down to 8%. But, you know? Yeah. But I did get the tweet from Paul Ryan. Says, We're what, cutting the rate from what, 35%. Okay. The, the rate is not 35%. Scott, Scott, was, try, Scott was trying to say something. Uh, oh, are, are they going to take any deductions away from the corporations? Or are they going to be able to deduct as they normally do? That's the question I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, uh, but I, I would imagine if you really drill down into this, you'll see that the people that are going to do the best under this tax reduction are, is not going to be the middle class. And by the way, what happens to the poor? Nobody mentions the poor in all of this. How you much know. taxes did you pay? Your tax is going up. Poor. How much taxes did Wait a minute, did you say the tax is going to go up, Scott? The, 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 the poorest of the poor taxes is going to go from 10% to 12%. Oh, boy. 
Now, let me ask you this. You and, and, and the corporations, the largest corporations, did they pay any tax? No. They didn't pay any tax. No, I, like, G, G, GE a couple of years ago didn't pay a penny in and, tax. tax. Right. So, therefore, if they tax them 20 percent, uh, uh, that's 20% no, more not, than they it's, were getting it, but before. But it's not, it's, I'm sure hey, it's hey, not. Hey, Phil, i got to correct you, Phil. When you, you say zero tax, you're incorrect. They got a negative tax. Uh, Some I of understand. these companies yeah. got incentives I, and yeah. got actually no, money I, back that they didn't that. Even pay it, in. I, so it was worse. So what I'm saying right, is, is this, this thing, you're complaining that they're only going to pay 20%. That's 20% more than they've been paying. You should, you should be happy that they're doing well, they're that. They're not going to pay 20%. They're just going to have to pay their tax lawyers more money to figure out more <laughs> loopholes, because there's always loopholes. There's but they're taking loopholes. the loopholes out. You know, I mean, no, if they're, they're not. They're gonna no, they're not. Somewhere. Don't find ways. Don't, Don't find ways. ways. No. I know some tax attorneys, and they can find a way. Yeah. If they can get O.J. off, they can find ways. Well, let me, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Wait a minute. Let me ask you this. Have you, and Phil, I'll ask this of Phil, because Phil is the uh, is the asshole in the group. Um, <laughs> Phil, uh, do, have you ever known, they always talk about, you know, these tax plans. Today, they didn't call this thing just uh, uh, tax reform. They call it tax reform and job growth or something like that. Did you, did you see it was not called just uh, just uh, uh, um, uh, tax reform. Oh. It, it said and job well, growth or jobs. Because they're something. politicians. That's Wait a minute. Now let, me, let me finish with this. The, the, the theory has always been, okay, Brian's going inside, so we'll see him on the inside. Uh First he came out, now he's going in. <laughs> okay, that's a little joke. Uh, what's a little joke like that between friends? Anyway, uh, 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 let me, where, where was I? Oh, yeah, tell me, you know, because I, America wants to know. When are they, they've always said that these things would get, be job, would, jobs would grow. All of a sudden, people would be working again. Uh, people would be making more money than they used to make because they have, don't have to pay as much tax as these companies and so on. And, and, and when have you ever known any of these things to improve that situation where everybody suddenly got, life got better for everybody? <laughs> You know, it only got better for the people, for the fat cats who were benefiting from it. But if you think that you're going to give uh, the corporations a tax break and that they're going to take that money and spend it on their people, you're out of your fucking mind. Now, look, I, uh, I got an example for Phil. Can I give Phil an example? Sure. You're going to. <laughs> okay, let's say I start a business and I make a hundred dollars profit. If the tax rate's 50 percent, I can only keep half of my profit, right? Like, exactly. but if, but that's an, the higher the tax rate is, I have more of an incentive to in, reinvest it back in my business, build up the capital value, take it out later as capital gains. Uh, but if the tax rate's really low, I'm going to keep my profits because I don't need to reinvest it because I get to keep them all. Well, I'd rather so, I'd rather keep it than give it to the government to distribute it right, the way but, they want to. But when you have the high with low tax rates, everybody's going to keep the money. They're not going to reinvest. Because you reinvest because you want to avoid paying taxes. So you reinvest, and then you sell your business later on, take it as a capital gain, or take it as yeah. installments, uh, and you build up value in your business. Everybody is taking the profits out now and investing it overseas. They're not going to create jobs. Uh, Jeff has his they hand up. They will not. Jeff has his hand up. Yeah, because uh, we've all heard that, that the benefit of all of this stuff is for small startup companies. Uh, small companies that uh, didn't exist before that are going to create all kinds of new jobs and stuff like that. Well, the first thing is any small company is creating an, an LLC company. Uh, I bet right. you had that, Phil. No, I have a subchapter okay. S. Okay. Those are kind of uh, obsolete now. So, Phil, well, <laughs> if I lose money, I carry over the loss uh, personally, yeah. and if I make money, then uh, I pay the I pay the tax person. I, I, saw, I saw one article that said that anyway, those, those LLCs, as I was talking about, uh, those things are not corporate taxes. They, they have nothing to do with that twenty percent, thirty percent, all that. That no, money no. is totally profit based upon the owner. 
whatever. No, but that's be. considered pass through, and the pass through rate's going down too with this new yeah. bill. The pass through through rate's going down from thirty five to twenty five or something like that. Uh, uh, when um, you pass through money from your LLC or partnership, I guess. I guess the question is, what the heck is uh, Trump going to do with all that money? To what? <laughs> All the extra money that he's gonna have. He'll build another hotel. No, he's he's gonna pay Jared, uh, legal fees. Jared's gonna have some big legal fees because they're looking at Jared now. He's the next one to fall. Uh, I don't. You think he's gonna I think he's move to Washington D.C. to Florida? It's it's a soap opera. That's all it is. You know, the, the Papadopoulos in that meeting talked to Sessions and Trump both about all the Russians he was talking to. So they got Sessions for lying. He's going to have to go back and testify again. And probably... Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Tell me again, because I don't completely understand this. Are you saying that Sessions lied about something? Well, he's such an honorable... He's such no, an, he lied in three, he's, in the, in the three times, not he, once he, he's su- No, but I can't see that. He's such an honorable man. I, I, I would have never I thought... I know he is. Well, he chastised the whole country for saying that he lied last time. When you, if you listen to his testimony, that was the most despicable thing you'd ever heard of people would lie about him lying. Yeah. It was um, amazing. And now they caught him. They got a picture of Papadopoulos talking to Trump, and then they uh, and and Sessions saying, "I I got these connections. Uh, I've been talking to the Russians." And, and, and Sessions shot him down minute, and Tim, said, "No." Wait a minute, Tim. False news. Trump. Uh, said to Papadopoulos that he didn't want him to go and do those things. Trump well, Sessions abolished did. it. No, Trump Sessions ab- did. But 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 he knows people on his no, staff Sessions was said. dealing with the Russians. Of course, he told him no. No, Trump told him no. I but so no. did Sessions. But no, they lied about different. not knowing people were doing it. So you know this this guy was an unpaid staffer, low level. And he, he no, said, he was sitting hey, in the meeting with all the Russia. leaders of the. Yeah, yeah. J.D. Gordon has, been tes- has testified as an advisor he was, to all this on, he was on the record. Meeting, so. And he mentioned this stuff, and Trump said, no, you're not going to do that. So, you right, know, but, but they, said they didn't ever talk about it. There's and they no did story. talk about it. No. Uh, Slide. That's the, what it comes down to. And, and now they came out with the names tonight of the Russians that work for the Russian agency that did hack the DNC. That just came out in just the last hour or so. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Did the, yeah, the names uh, Clintonowski? <laughs> well, yeah, hey, who knows? Uh, uh, no, it was Brazil. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff had his hand up. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff? Yes, Jeff. Here's what I'm saying, is that what we ought to look at as my wife always says, look where the money came from and where it went. Yeah. And the one thing that everybody wants to admit is who actually paid for this guy to go to Russia? The DNC. You know, it, it almost assumes like, well, he did it by himself. He didn't. Yeah, somebody paid for him to go. Right. Yeah. Who, who is that, who is that uh, group that the DNC paid to get? CA on Trump. Oh boy, I just lost everybody for a second there. But just now, for a second, yeah. Now they're all back again. Yeah, who knows? Now, there, uh, who, <coughs> I've never like, seen that happen this, before. One starts with a G. Uh, yeah. They they paid this group uh, a, a lot of money to to create this dossier yeah. uh, where Trump was getting pissed on and and so forth. And, oh, that's but really the dossier the was not hacking, and the dossier. Was not illegal in the dossier. Okay, but you know we're we're, get, we're getting all over the place here, based upon oh, what you up. what you saw on uh, on Twitter today. Uh, it, uh, what I want to get back to is 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 this a tax cut that is going to benefit Americans? And I just think oh. that on the whole, if it does, you're giving up so much that you're you're giving up more than you're getting. And uh, and I agree with the sh- with Schumer Schumer who said you know it's like a, it's like a, a dead fish in the sun uh, after a while it begin once it's been exposed to the light it starts to stink and I think Ed, with right. every day that passes on this we're going to start seeing more and more uh, errors in this whole thinking but I loved watching I don't know if you watched the press conference 
but the Democrat, the Republicans went out there. They were like so giddy. I thought they were going to start jerking <laughs> off. You know, oh, we've got this wonderful <laughs> tax plan. Oh, we're going to save Americans. My boy, this is it's it. You know, and you're going, what the fuck? You know what it was like? It was like they've been told to clean their bedroom for nine years, and they're finally going to have their bedroom clean. Yeah. And they can move on. Well, you know, I I don't I don't know if they're going to get this passed. You know, I don't. Well, I don't, but, you know, problem, a couple articles I read in Washington Post. There's not. It, it, they did such a middle of the road thing, <clears> and there's not enough people against anything that they probably will get something passed. That's, that's the thinking right now. Did they say when they got the on? moderates on board and they got some of the far right ones? There's a good chance of it passing, unfortunately. Wow. Because it's not. If they're not doing completely the way. You know, they only cut down the mortgage deduction some. They didn't take it away completely. And then, um, the the ones that they're hurting are such small interest groups. That there's a, there is a chance it'll pass. I know Schumer thinks it won't, but there there is a good chance of some from. Well, it, it, it. it just takes a handful of Republicans to keep this thing from passing. And, right. And I, I don't know what. It kind of depends on what McCain's thoughts are. I don't. Well, I, I think you know. I mean, there are some Republicans who feel that this is going to cost the government money. And uh, they don't oh, want to yes. see it. It's going to cost big time. Well, but they don't want to see it. You know, they want they want to balance the budget. They don't want it to suddenly uh, us to go into the tank for more, many more trillions of dollars. Well, so, a lot of them are retiring. Yes. So. so a lot of those Republicans are not necessarily on board with this. But boy, those guys today, man, it looked like they were going to have a happy circle jerk. They were just so happy. Oh, look at what we got. We finally come out with this. This is going to be so good for everybody. And I was, I was going, you know, the only thing I saw in there that made any sense at all that I agree with is doing away with the alternative minimum tax. Uh, right. And if they didn't do away with that, it would actually be a tax increase. Uh, um, probably. That's the, if they took the AMT provision out of there, the whole bill would be a tax but increase overall. But who, who is affected most by that, by the alternative minimum tax, is people with money. Yeah, people with big yeah. money. Yeah, I can't remember. Two million or above. I can't remember exactly how it works, but one year I got close to being caught in the middle of it. And my accountant figured a way out of it. But uh, or if inf if inflation starts up again, that can cause problems. Yeah, well, what? No, but what, 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 what was the alternative minimum tax exactly? How did that work? I don't know. I never had to pay it. Yeah, I don't know. I almost. It, it, well, that's the only reason that Trump had to pay tax that one year I was think, the alternative minimum because he had so many write-offs that right. they said, well, if you did write everything off, you're going to have to at least pay this much. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's otherwise what Otherwise, he'd have saved, he would have paid like 20% of what he paid yeah. otherwise. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. It's, he, not, it's not fair, you know, because we, we can't afford those big accountants. Yeah, so, so what they do is they if you if you're going to pay so little tax, then they say there's a there's a minimum alternative that you got to pay. Uh, you know the other th uh, the other unfair thing, Phil, is rich people get paid on their net income. You can write almost everything off with an LLC or subchapter S or a corporation. Working people that drudgely take the bus across town to go to work pay on their gross <laughs> wages before any. They can't deduct anything. Well, I, 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 had a, I, had, I had a corporation years ago, and it was, uh, I was incorporated in Delaware. It was Bennett uh, Communications. Right. And then, uh, you drive around in a corporate car. You eat, uh, well, the I, corporation no, I, for I, your dinners. I, I had a car, so when we got a second car and we leased it, that was the company right. car. And so I didn't right. have to, I, you know, my, it was right pocket, left pocket is what it was. And my right, right pocket had taxes taken out of it. And my left pocket didn't, you know. We, and, had a, we, had a small, we had a small Girl Scout troop, and one of the mothers was a small business lady, direct, direct sales. She would write checks from her business account to pay the dues for her daughter. They write off everything. Yeah, so, I mean, there's a left pocket, right pocket thing that, that uh, you could go. But, the, but a working guy that's working for wages for a company can't do that. Can't even write off mileage, except yeah. in unusual circumstances. Well, can't I mean, write off their uniforms unless they have tons I, I, of deductions. I also had it yeah. to, to a fairly limited extent. I had a, a small uh, uh, amount of pe group of people who I paid a salary uh, to do stuff right. for me. Uh, so, you know, I was legitimate as a business, 
uh, as legitimate oh, yeah. as can I, be. I, it's totally but, legitimate. But you know, but it's not fair. I had two apartments uh, in in the same building, and one we called the office, and one we called my apartment. Guess which one was uh, taken uh, paid for by the uh, by my company? Yeah. Right. So, uh, and you save Social Security tax and everything on that. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And they're not even throwing in all these comparisons. They're not even throwing in the sales tax and the and the Social Security tax that the poor people pay. Yeah, most lower middle class. So because uh, uh, they're yeah. highly taxed. So, so uh, of course, Phil doesn't have a, th- a thought on this either way because you really haven't dr- looked at it, have you, Phil? No, I haven't looked into it. And, you know, just I think Patrick said that, you know, by the time it gets to the point where they actually vote on it, there'll be so many people uh, changing this and changing that. The the uh, the original thing isn't going to look anything like the original thing. The original thing isn't going to look like the original thing. Yeah, you know, he's like the Riddler. He's like the Riddler. He's like the Riddler. Yeah. Riddle me this, <laughs> Batman. He's like Gorsh. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're going to have, yeah, Frank Gorsh. You're going to have galaxy to like a flat yeah, I, I disagree with you, Phil. I think they've got in the middle of the road here. I think they've got something they might be able to pass. No, there many there's, there's, there's people all the way to the, to the right of the party that aren't going <laughs> to stand for it, like the guy from Tennessee, what's his name, Paul, Rand Paul. Uh, but, you you know, don't want, but you don't want Trump mad at you. You want to be able to be reelected, so you're going to toe the line. Gonna, uh, it's you know, be rough. I'd be surprised if he ran again. Hey, what do you think about Robert Mercer re- uh, resigning? Everybody hear about that? Who's Robert Mercer? Yes. He's the big um, billionaire that funds Bannon, and he funded most of Trump's campaign. Uh, and uh, they were involved in some of this Russia stuff, too. He's got a tax dispute with the federal government where the government says he owes another $6 billion for hedge funds. So he's quitting and resigned from the corporation. His daughter's taken over, but she's very right-wing and very Bannon-esque. Uh, but you, you might want to look at some articles on that. But what, that's the big what money. What do you mean by Bannon-esque? He was financing what do you, what, his own campaign. What do you mean bottom uh, Bannon-esque? She looks like she's been run over by a snow tire. <laughs> No, her inside of her brain looks that yeah. way. Uh, by the way, uh, Patrick, like Patrick is doing the blow me sign. That's the international sign for blow me. What, 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 what's your comment, Patrick? Who gives a shit? <laughs> well, you, you know, know, if a guy owes six billion dollars in taxes, if I cheat on my taxes by hundred dollars, I'm in jail the next month. He owes six billion in. He put Trump in office. You think they're gonna? Who's gonna win that? Oh, well, if you're gonna steal, steal big because you won't go to jail. You know, if you go Absolutely. rob a if Absolutely. you go rob a grocery store, you get five years in prison. You rob uh, the American you rob the American people, and your name is Wells Fargo, and everybody gets away scot free. Well, that's Did in you hear terms about of financial crime. Today? Wait, a minute, wait, a minute, wait, Brian, what are you gonna say? That's in terms of financial crime, but it's it harkens to me a quote that was made regarding uh, other crime, namely murder, by Joseph Stalin, if I'm correct here. If you kill one person or a small group of people, it's a tragedy. But if you kill one million or more or a billion, it's a statistic. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Did, did you guys hear about Manafort's lawyer today? No, I don't pay. I, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not addicted like you are to the news. But uh, no, I just happen. I, I see a couple articles read them, but they spelled Cyprus you, wrong. Do you, let me ask you a question. Um, uh, do you ever sleep? <laughs> yes, I do sleep. I, I just. I'm a speed reader. I speed uh, speed read tweets, and then uh, most of them. And I don't. I don't. I don't take any tweet to heart. But if I click on a, a, a reputable newspaper article or magazine and then i'll read a few paragraphs i got a question for tim yeah yes uh real quick uh yeah you 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 mentioned you speed read i've been wanting to learn to do that but i'm i'll admit i'm i'm a little too lazy to teach myself how to um uh if uh you have my facebook is there any way we can communicate in private maybe you can give me lessons or something well this is just something i learned in when i was in grade school and it's it's some skimming, and I catch look for keywords, and uh, I kind of do that while I'm watching TV. Like some people are on their phones when they're watching TV shows. All um, right. Yeah. Um, and, but I haven't had any formal training recently, so. All right. No. Okay. Um, but uh, that's why yeah, I, I kind of like Twitter because you can, you 
you can cat, you can do keyword searches very easily in Twitter and come up with a few articles. Oh yeah, click I did. On the Washington control Post. Left. I, I studied speed yeah. reading once, but I was a slow learner, so I never got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really, I, I I did take a speed reading course, and somehow I just couldn't wrap my ass around it. You know. Uh, it, it was hard. I remember well, no, being well, no, hard. but it, it's the difference between whether you want to read a paragraph and absorb it, or whether you just want to get. It's like eating fast food. You know, you can get in and out of that with those restaurants oh. fast, but if you want a nice meal, you go through the dining experience. And uh, right, you know, I or eat the fast food slow, more slowly. I mean, I might read books of reference material that way, uh, but uh, and I and many times I have kind of read those faster. But when it comes to reading a novel or reading something that, that has uh, some great prose to it, I don't think well, speed reading is going to be a good idea. Of course, I listen to no, audio. Better do, unless, you're, unless you have a very high IQ, you want to do slow. But remember, when journalism, the bulk of the article is in the first two or three paragraphs. It's an upward pyramid, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know so, that. I know um, that. Hey, yeah, uh, so oh. it, it, with articles, you can read the first two or three paragraphs to get the gist of the idea. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. What were you saying, Brian? You said something about... Uh, I can't remember now. There's something I was going to jump off of and then I completely lost track. I, I, it has escaped me, too. I probably just but, mentioned passing. Yeah. yeah. They, they found out there's a connection between uh, Manafort and the most dangerous mafia... I forget his name. Uh, Russian mafia character. Trumpsky. Uh, no, I'll, I'll, I don't know what the name it is, but he has deep ties with one of the worst mafia characters in Russia. So that's it's just kind of like a novel that's unfolding here, uh, like a Clancy wait a minute, novel. wait a minute. A lot of people in Russia are mob. I mean, that's one of the most mobbed no, up I know. countries no, every, in the world. Anybody who does business there is in the mob. Yeah, absolutely. Or you have to but deal with the, the mob. But this is the top most dangerous. Most powerful guy yeah, there was below Putin, as far as the oligarchs go. And I forget his name. I'll, well, I'll I mean, he was uh, Manafort was doing business with Russia, and if you're going to do business with Russia, you're going to have to do business with the worst of the worst when it comes oh. to the mob there. Yeah. yeah, but this is the worst of the worst, and it just verifies. That yeah, but what is that? What? What? what is, how does that make him guilty of anything? Well, because he had all those accounts, money coming. The, the, that guy was putting money in the accounts in Cyprus. You know, and they were laundering money. He was spent. He was having money spent by electronic. He would go and buy shirts, and you know, he bought what a million dollars worth of rugs. That was just money laundering. He didn't actually get a million dollars worth of rugs. He just had an EFT go to that rug store. They would uh, keep well, a percentage. Yeah, okay. well, I know. Yeah. Uh, I know people that did that locally. This is this is more than we They'd need. They never to come do. to my store to do it. Yeah, uh, no, uh, I know somebody who stole check. I, I I know that a, a restaurant that had checks stolen from their business. Tim, sl sl uh, the person went out and did yeah, all that. Slow, so. down, slow down on the speed reading. Yes, Patrick. <laughs> what about doing business deals in Chicago or in New York City today? You know, November second, two thousand seventeen. Yeah, I'm, I'm, tr I'm sure Trump. Trump, we all know, was associated with the mob in New York. Not that he. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But anybody doing if you were in the trades and you wanted to work in New York in the '60s and '70s, you paid. Uh, my father had to pay. You yeah, know? yeah, no, but uh, I'm saying that you know, uh, uh, you know, Trump was mobbed up. I mean, if he had anything to do with Roy Cohn, which we know he did, because he was like Roy Cohn was his mentor. Uh, Roy Cohn was the mob's lawyer. You know, so, uh, uh, you know, you, you easily mobbed up, easily mobbed up. Um, but, you know, I, I got some bad news today about Trump. Uh, and it was a sad piece of news because I was really hoping it was otherwise. He says he's really enjoying the job. Yeah. <laughs> he said that he, he, he thought he wouldn't like it as much as he does and that he really enjoys it. I just thought I'd pass that along. I feel glad to see that he uh, perceives this as his uh, metaphorical pleasure cruise. Yeah, he's, he's on the news twenty four seven. That's what he likes big about. Big impacts on our lives. Yeah, he's on the news twenty four seven. You're right, uh, Tim. I mean, absolutely. That's his. That's his. Uh, his calling card. Uh, he's worse than me. Everybody. Everybody <laughs> pays attention to Trump. Well, now we can agree. He's better than you, Phil. Not worse. He's better. I mean, is he oh, ever going to take a fucking vacation and leave us alone for a couple of weeks? 
you know, he seems to so monopolize. He so monopolizes the the news cycle that that you can't get away from him. And I really he, loves he, it. he, he of course he loves it. He's, he can't get away. If he does, what can I do? What can I do? Where's my tranquilizers? I need my tranquilizers to calm yeah. me down. Yeah. What can I do next? Yeah, where am I gonna? Where yeah. am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? You know. The, the Russian Mafia story was in the Daily Beast. I posted it on Facebook. If anybody's interested, if not, don't just ignore it. Well, it, it's the Daily Beast, you know. Right. Uh, and it, it's but, one, of the, one of those periodicals, one of those websites that makes its living on stirring up the dirt, you know. Betsy yeah, Woodruff was the reporter. She's not too bad as a reporter. Yeah, but, she, you know. She's fairly good. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just, I just uh, all I'm saying is, folks, don't buy what the, what what the con men men are trying to sell you. They're trying to have you sell yourself out so that they can get other people rich, and and that's what's so wrong with it. You know, I I just don't see how a human being can run for office because he supposedly wants to look out for the American people, and then sell out the American people like this. It's, it's just, called Congress. Well, no, it's, not, it's, it's all the it's the Republicans and the Democrats. They all are selling. All Republicans. Yeah, it's just no, the Republicans. it's Democrats too, Mike. True, true. They I mean, get look at what happened with Donna Brazil. Remember that as bad as the Republicans. So it doesn't matter who's bad if it's that worse. Marginal difference is still get shot. increasingly narrower. How can he lose with quality nominees like Sam Clovis? <laughs> With the Department of Ag. Well, Crazy. anyway, you know, I mean, uh, we just got a few minutes left here, and I just uh, would just put forward the question about, uh, you know, each one of us here, you know, the things that Congress does, and we can go, okay, well, you know, let them play their little games, leave us alone, you know. But then there are some things they can do that can really affect our lives, and this is one of them. I mean, if they're gonna if they're gonna cut back on Medicare, for instance, that affects me personally. It affects Jeff, I know, uh, yep. and and uh, uh, it, you know, if it, it, cutting back on a lot of different things is gonna hurt everybody in this in, on this panel tonight. So Look, it's not like they're pa- it's not like they're passing something that isn't going to affect us personally. And I, they, they, you know, if they get too randy with with Medicare, they could wind up killing me. You know, and my and my grandkids are going to have to pay the bill because this is not paid for. The tax cuts are not paid for. Well, I mean, uh, like, they're going to have to get the money from somewhere to keep the money spend, coming in. As usual, you know, and uh, I I think it's going to be a while before we we really realize uh, the true extent of how much money is not going to be saved, and how much money. The government is going to lose as a result of, because remember, folks, tax money is what keeps the government going. I mean, they don't talk about cutting back on the military 50 percent, which they could do because we spend way too much on the military. They don't do anything. They're not even talking about that. You know, they're not talking about lowering what congressmen and senators make. They're not talking about that. They're not talking about tax. Fire all the secret service. It's not about. They don't talk about taxing them for those wonderful medical uh, uh, policies that they get when they become congressmen and senators, which should be charged to them as income. It's yeah. expensive to live in Washington D.C. Yeah, it's very expensive. Well, I mean, yeah, there are there are toxic. there are some congressmen who do sleep in their offices. Uh, it will have to. You know why they were so giddy, Alex, at the at the uh, at the press conference? Because I, I, that was basically a fundraiser. They had to satisfy their donors. Uh, you could be right. Hey, thanks, Jeff. I really appreciate your participation tonight. Scott, good to see you again. Patrick, yeah, I love you. Uh, Tim, thank you so much. Uh, and uh, uh, get some sleep. Uh, Phil, thank you. Uh, Mike, goodbye. Uh, goodbye to Anthony. Wide awake. Yeah, what? Yeah, wide awake tonight. And, uh, uh, and when I did a freeze frame from last night for the uh, website, I made sure it was one where you were sleeping. Uh, and, <laughs> I'm and, yeah. And uh, I'm thanks, uh, Brian. Oh. Hey, well, everybody go and give a nice big wave goodbye to all the folks out there. There they go, folks. That's our citizens panel. 
let me hang up on them here so the guys next to me uh, who come on after me, which is Amy and, and uh, Jack, uh, can do their program with being able to sign on to the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey, I'm Alex Bennett. Uh, t- uh, what, one o'clock tonight, it's uh, Connections. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as we always like to say, if you see her, tell her I love her. Bye, everybody. Thank you.